start just by gently rubbing. Joints get stiff, and if you rub them, they warm up and they'll move better, as will the muscles. So rub your hands together, rub round your wrists. Rub your elbows and up your arm and round your shoulder. It's actually quite comforting. Think of it as stroking, if you like. We all enjoy stroking the dog. We've enjoyed people stroking our hair. There's no reason why you can't stroke your own hair, stroke your own body. But just warm the joints up. Okay. You can rub round your hips. And you can rub round your knees and round your thighs as well, just stroking through. Okay. Right, let's move on to some of the exercises. So the first one is called the golden dragon wagging its tail. And it's just your two hands together, going one way and then the other. Let your wrist bend a little. And you probably find you're starting to twist slightly from side to side. This one always reminds me of the old Tom and Jerry cartoons where the cat was outside the mouse hole with the tail twitching from side to side. Come back to centre and the jade phoenix nods its head. So we're just going up and down towards your chest and your lap. Next one is a lovely arch. I think, think of it as a pagoda roof with that slope and curve. It's officially a Chinese figure eight drifting fragrantly. I don't know quite how a figure eight drifts fragrantly, but the idea of a pleasant smell is always nice. I had one lady told me that this was like stroking the velvet on a curtain. And I had another lady told me it reminded her of stroking down the mane and the back of her horse. So take an image that works for you, perhaps put an, an aroma to it, a fragrance. Now keep your hands out wide and just go into wiggling your fingers, playing the piano. It's officially a stringed instrument. There are a variety of Chinese instruments that are there, sort of like a Hawaiian guitar. But just try and have all your fingers and your thumbs moving. And then become aware of how much your shoulders are moving. If you've got a, if you're imagining a piano, and the keyboard's getting longer and longer, your shoulders will be going further and further. Okay. Now you can carry on seated. I'm going to stand up because some of these, all of these exercises can be done seated or standing. So the next one we're going to do is called a pair of bowls circling. Turn your hands palm up, imagine you've got a bowl of water on each hand and try and take it round without spilling the water. Now if you've got arthritis in our wrists and elbows then it, you may be a bit on an angle. Don't worry about it, you just do the best you can. But circle them round. And often in my classes, I say, put a scented candle on top of the water. 
pick the scent that you've got you'd like to have jasmine or whispering as we're doing this recording so daffodils roses vanilla a particular favorite of mine take the circle in the other direction turn it round you may have noticed with standing, again, the knees start moving just a little bit. And if they're really stiff, don't ask too much of them, but invite them just to move a fraction. It helps with your balance and actually makes the whole move work better. Okay. I'm gonna take my feet a little bit wider. If you're seated, you don't need to. Lotus leaf swaying in the breeze. Go one way and back the other. Calm, smooth. They're saying lotus leaves. I like the idea of the bamboo and the gentle rustle through the stems and the leaves as the breeze passes through them. Turning the universe. Now you do it to the left and then to the right, or to the right and then the left. Hold your hands as if you're holding a ball, or holding the world, holding the universe, and just slowly take it round. Keep them the same distance from each other. And again, it's not your shoulders doing all the work, it's your waist moving from the middle, even if you're seated. But that idea of just holding a ball in your hands helps you mobilize the whole of your body. Okay, change direction, go the other way around. And again, your knees are part of the movement, your hips are part of the movement if you're standing. If you're seated, You've got your shoulders and most particularly your waist doing the work. Okay, and come back to centre. Rowing the boat to cross the sea. I don't know where else you'd be rowing the boat, across the lake possibly, but we're going to push the hands forwards almost straight. Now hold the oars and pull back. Push forwards, take hold and pull back. So you've got an open hand pushing the oar forwards, then grip it and pull it back. See if you can pull the oar right into your tummy or into your rib cage. And again, if you're standing, you'll find your knees and your hips work to help you with your balance. Now, onto rolling arms. This is the Buddhist prayer wheels. I know they're usually vertical, ours is horizontal. You know how you spin the wheel in prayer if you go to a Buddhist temple. So just rotate round. And then again, change direction. Sometimes even that's a brain challenge. I find it is on a bad day. So it's a little gentler one in between one or two quite tough exercises. But you may well find your arms are saying, oh, that's not as easy as I thought it was. Okay, I'll finish that one. And then this one has the wonderful name of the Rocking Bodhidharma. Think of it as rocking a baby, but it's got to be an extra long one. Because your hands don't quite meet. So seated, it's a bit of a twist, standing, we're rocking the weight onto one leg 
and then onto the other. Only a little. Again, if you don't feel stable, then keep both feet planted firmly. one's forcing the wind into the ears. Sounds a bit of a daft name, but actually if you feel you're cupping seashells, as you did as a child on the beach, and just bring your hands up to your ears, and down, up, and down. And again, if you're standing, your hips and knees work gently. If you're not, Again, you might be surprised how hard your arms work by the time you've done this range of exercises. Okay, and then we just adapt and make a pair of spectacles or binoculars. And this one has a lovely translation of dazzling golden light. So, Hopefully you're doing this on a nice warm sunny day, but if not, visualize yourself there. Nice warm sunshine. You can even be putting your sunglasses on if you need to. Okay. Now, bring your hands together and let them come down to your centre. If you're happy to close your eyes, let your shoulders relax. And if you're standing and you want to sit, then please do. But just feel that as you're staying there, standing or seated, your shoulders relax, your elbows can soften down and your spine can go soft, almost like melting chocolate, easing some of the aches and the tensions in it, being allowed to drift away. And as you stay there, become aware of your breathing. You don't have to do anything with it. Don't try and make it deeper but just be aware of it going all the way down. Right down to your tummy button, right down even further. your hands into your lap or by your side. 